Hey guys, I'm finally getting around to doing my March favorites, and I know that it's taken me a really long time, and I'm really sorry, but I wanted to wait until this room was done, and it's mostly done. There's paint on the walls, at least, um, and it's also empty, which is why you're probably hearing an echo, um, but it will be full of all sorts of things soon. I'm going to move my vanity in here, and... Um, my husband made me this really awesome rolling clothing rack that we're going to put props on and um, I'm really excited about it. So it's going to be my makeup room obviously in the new place where I shoot and it's also going to be a set for one of our businesses. So hopefully soon I'll be showing you all some photos from this room. Um, anyway, let's get down to the favorites. Um, now my favorites this month, most of them kind of work with each other, so um, it's going to be a little different this time. All right, so my first favorite are these brushes from Real Techniques. I have several brushes from this line, um, but five, yep, five are, um, these five are the ones that I've been using a lot. Um, first is the Expert Face Brush. I use this for putting on foundation, and I'm sorry, all of these brushes are dirty because I use them to get ready for this shoot, and I haven't had a chance to clean them yet, so don't judge me. Um, this one is really good if you really want a, um, if you really want full coverage. <laughs> Man, it's been a long night. This brush is really good if you want full coverage foundation. Um, the, it's good for full coverage foundation. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, this is the buffing brush, and this is nice for if you um, get some weird areas that that maybe this brush can't fit into, or this brush isn't doing a very good job, and you can just um, buff away, you know, any mistakes or issues. Um, I also, if, if I want a more sheer coverage, I'll put foundation on with my hands, and then I'll use this to kind of buff it in to, for a more uh, natural look. Um, next is the, it's a contour brush, but I don't use it for that. I um, am not great at contouring, and so this tiny little brush kind of stresses me out because I feel like I would just have these crazy stripes on my cheeks. So I use this for highlighter, which brings me to my next favorite, which is um, this highlighter by Wet n Wild, uh, Reserve Your Cabana. It says it's a bronzer. It's obviously not a bronzer. You can see how light it is, um, but it's just a really pretty nice um, highlight. You probably want to be able to see that. It's pretty subtle, um, like like most Wet n Wild products, there's a lot of fall off. So when you dip your brush in there, you're going to want to tap it off because otherwise you're just going to have highlighter all over the place. But super cheap. I, I can't remember what I paid for this, but it was probably only a couple of dollars. And it's massive. It's going to last me forever. And I really like this for, for applying the highlighter. Uh, next is the setting brush. Yeah. And this I use to set my under eye concealer and it just fits in that area really nicely. Next is the detailer brush and I've been using this lately to apply this Color Tattoo 24 hour um, eyeshadow and tenacious teal. And I use this kind of like an eyeliner brush and dip it in there and then um, pop it along my lower lash line, which I've really been enjoying lately. This is just such a pretty color, and I don't think I could pull it off on my lids, but um, on my lower lash line, it's just kind of a fun, um, springy, summery pop of color. And then I use the same brush, which maybe isn't a good idea, but I use the same brush to set it. And for that, I have been using um, Peace by Urban Decay right here, which is a little bit lighter than... Uh, this tenacious teal, but it, I don't know, makes it that much brighter, I guess. It's pretty. I'm liking it. Oh, um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, okay, the this hydrating mist from Juice Beauty, I got this last month in my Ipsy bag, and it's just supposed to be a hydrating mist. It doesn't, you're supposed to put it on clean skin, and I do. Um, but I've been using it as a setting spray 
and it's working really well. I have really oily skin and I was kind of afraid to use this because it's a hydrating mist. I thought that my skin would get really oily, but it actually does a good job of controlling the oil. I don't particularly like the way it smells. Um, some of my friends do. Maybe I just got one that isn't good. It has um, a very strong herbal smell that I, I don't find pleasant, but luckily the smell goes away pretty quickly. Um, and it's all natural and good for your skin, and so that makes me feel a little bit better about all of the other crap that I pile on my skin. Speaking of, last month I told you all, I think it was last month, that I am really enjoying these simple wipes. And they, they do still work well, but um, my mom informed me that they're full of parabens, and they are, which is really frustrating. Um, I, I'm sure that there are all sorts of products that I use that have parabens in them, but this product tries to come across as simple and good for your skin and no harsh irritants, and parabens do irritate your skin. Um, so I was really frustrated to learn that, so I wanted to find a, um, something else that I could use, and I found it. Um, Pacifica now is making um, makeup and um, oh, facial lotions and cleansers and all sorts of, sorts of things like that. And they also make these coconut water um, cleansing wipes. I really like these. These do just as good a job of removing my eye makeup as the simple ones um, do. but. These wipes are so incredibly soft. They're probably the softest wipes I've ever used. And they're not full of a bunch of garbage. Um, I, I pulled up the website here so I could read everything that it doesn't have in it. Um, it's formulated without phthalates, parabens, carmine, beeswax, lanolin, mineral oils, propylene glycol, petroleum, and FD&C colors, along with other nasties you do not want on your skin. No animal testing, gluten-free, 100% vegan. I love that. Also, as an added bonus, these are biodegradable, um, which is great because that's something that I felt really guilty about, that I'm using these wipes and then just basically throwing them into a landfill. And they also smell really nice. Oh, and they have um, papaya, which apparently is a natural exfoliant. And it does seem like they do a pretty good job of exfoliating my skin. Um, Anyway, I, th I think they're great, and I'm really glad that I was able to find something other than the simple wipes to use. And last is this nail color by L'Oreal. It is not a cloud in sight. You'd think I would memorize these things, but I just don't. Um, I'm also wearing uh, another color by L'Oreal on my nails. I think this one is members only. Anyway. Um, these are just really fun colors. I have this on my toes right now, which I will not make you guys look at, um, but it's just a fun spring color. These go on nicely. The, um, the CoverGirl, I think, Colorstay nail polishes that I talked about in a previous favorites video. Um, I, I don't know why, but the cream colors always bubble on me. So I was able to find similar colors in the, in the L'Oreal line that don't bubble, um, but they, they do chip fairly quickly, which is, you know, whatever. It's unfortunate, but I'm not really surprised. Um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.